you'll see an angel who has fallen from heaven begins to love a girl. We learn at the start of the film, that there was only darkness in the world for thousands of years. There was no light in this universe. After a while, though, the gods created light, and everything became bright. Everything was going smoothly later, and heaven was made later. Heaven used to be home to all of the gods and angels. However, one day, an angel disagreed with God. As a result, a battle between gods and angels begins. All the angels now had to choose between siding, in which with the gods or siding with the renegade angel. Who fought gods before becoming a demon. All angels have a choice of sides. There were still some angels who had not chosen any side. That is why the gods have sent them to earth to choose sides. They don't get to pick whether they want to live with angels or gods. The fallen angels in this film are angels who have come to earth. The scene cuts to a young girl named Luce, who is the film's protagonist. Her parents had decided to send her to a boarding school for psych patients. It means that psycho patients are treated in addition to being studied. Luce notices a boy coming from the jail when she arrives. Late, we see Luce with a psychiatrist where we come to know, Luce appears normal, however, she suffers from hallucinations. A psychiatrist informs her that if she takes these medications, she can live a normal life. Luce refused to take her medications because she believes, this hallucination isn't caused by a mental illness, Luce later visits a library and meets a boy named Daniel. She saw Daniel for the first time here, although she assumed she'd met him before. Daniel leaves before she has a chance to speak with him. The scene shifts to reveal a young woman with two-toned hair. She started fighting with Luce, and she was surprised at how well she knew her. She says that I know everything about you, you're a killer, and Luce's hallucinations have returned after. Listening to this. She was seated in a house that was on fire. She is having a fight with Luce. Luce is later seen on the ground, where an angel statue was supposed to fall on her. And she's probably going to die if she falls that far. But Daniel intervenes and saves her from the statue. After Daniel has saved her or when he gets closer she has hallucinations. She has no idea what occurred to her after meeting Daniel. We see Daniel with the girl who had been fighting with Luce. Daniel was actually looking out her window at Luce. The girl tells him not to get attracted to her after seeing him. She claims that you are unaware of how difficult it can be. Luce has come in front of Daniel in class after gathering enough bravery. She was interrogating him, and I believe we'd met before. If we had met, I would have recalled Daniel's response. He walks away, and Luce, on the other hand, emerges from her sadness. She sees the boy she saw at the start of the movie in the hostel. Kim invites Luce to coffee and the two have a long conversation. Here we learn that Cam is starting to like Luce. We see all of the students later in the activity classroom. There was sword combat going on, and Luce has no experience with swords. But she takes part, and her opponent is the same person, who was battling alongside her at the start of the movie. She had easily defeated Luce, and now she is Daniel to contend with. She suffers hallucinations again after coming in front of Daniel. She has visions of herself fighting Daniel with a sword somewhere, but she had never done anything like this before. She was battling Daniel while suffering from hallucinations. They were engaged in a fierce battle. Everyone is enjoying at the party. We see Luce at a lonely spot when the girl appears. Who always shows up to fight her. She inquired about her activities and if she still saw the boy you murdered? Do you still experience hallucinations? She asks. Luce has no idea what she's talking about. Luce, who has had enough of it all, finally takes her medicine. Later in the film, we learn about Luce's past life. In Luce had a friend with whom she was close. Luce had some shadows one day when they were alone. The fire in the house started quickly as a result of that shadow. In the same house as Luce and the boy. Someone get out of the house, Luce, for the boy had died inside. She fears having hallucinations or seeing shadows later on. Pen should not be my friend, according to Luce. People may die as a result of my actions. She hears Daniel and the teacher discussing her in the classroom. Daniel informs the teacher that Luce requires our protection. Luce feels happy after hearing this, but she comes out. So, although Daniel couldn't see her, he had seen her. Luce has took a drawing of him. When Luce sees his drawing, she thinks she's seen something similar before. This drawing's character even looked like her. Meanwhile, Daniel arrives, and she asks about the place of the drawing. Daniel explains that he is working on a novel and that this is the cover for it and Daniel informs her that he hasn't finished writing it yet. He's working on a strange story about a girl and a boy. And then there's the time when the girl meets the boy and they befriend. And the girl dies every time they meet. 
and it took the boy another 17 years to find his first love. They meet up again when the girl is born. The girl dies following their close-up. According to him, this cycle has been going on for centuries. In which the boy never gets older and, the girl, at the age of 17, dies on their first date. Every time she is reborn, the boy anticipates her 17th year. Luce is skeptical that Daniel is sharing his life narrative, but he rejects it. I wish I could tell you what you wanted to hear, Daniel says. Luce is later seen in her room in the next scene. Cam had come to celebrate Luce's birthday. He invites her to a party with him. He agreed to this on the condition that he would answer all of her inquiries. They were having a party when Luce tried to inquire about her again. Cam, on the other hand, does not respond and Daniel arrives there. They were fighting and started talking about angels. Luce grows worried after witnessing their fight and runs. She's seeing visions again after leaving the party. These visions appear to be true to what is happening in the real world. She's deduced that these visions are connected to Daniel. That is why Luce turns to her computer expert buddy Peen. They installed software after taking Daniel's image. So that they might learn about Daniel. They find from the software that it was the centuries-old picture of Daniel. They get shocked to see that Daniel hadn't changed in thousands of years. There was no mark of aging on his face. They search more about him and they find Daniel with Luce's picture. Luce again sees shadows after seeing her past. The library where they were gathering Daniel's information catches fire. The boy who was assisting Sarah dies after being burned in the fire. In the next scene, Daniel saves Sarah, and we see Sarah in the hospital. Sarah believes she was to blame for the boy's death as well as the fire. Daniel keeps an eye on Luce from another window at night. Luce notices this and approaches him to speak with him. She says, I've known whether you tell me or not. That the novel you've written is based on you and me. She wants to get rid of this all and doesn't want to live. She jumps from the balcony because of this. Daniel, with his lovely and invisible wings, flees before she can die. And Luce is saved, after witnessing his wings. It dawns on us, that Daniel is the same fallen angel who came from the heavens. He hadn't chosen an angel or a god from either side. Rather, he'd chosen the love of a human. Daniel was the one who had adored Luce for millennia. And the story is based on him, which he had previously told. Luce has shadows again after their close-up. She wasn't afraid this time because Daniel was with her. He assures her that she has nothing to fear from them. He shows Luce the shadows after touching the heart. She'd never been seen before, and the shadows tell her about the past. Luce can die according to the cycle as Daniel and Luce get closer. After closing her, Daniel wants to love her, because he believes she will not die this time. Because he noticed a difference in Luce's eyes this time. Cam comes and warns her not to do this. He warns Luce that she must do this or she would die. He tells her to leave Daniel and follows him. Luce disagrees with Cam, and she and Daniel are in love. Luce was not endured this time, and their curse had ended. All the angels are terrified when their curse ends. It comes to know that the other people like Cam were also angels. They're in fear because when their curse breaks. Lucifer could be ragged and he could come on earth to seek revenge. That's why Daniel wants to take Luce to a safe place. Cam was quite angry about his defeat because Luce has chosen Daniel. A fight was going on between them and, they were fighting while flying in the sky. A storm had arrived because of their fight. The scene shifts to Luce and the teacher. The teacher was telling, that Daniel, can't go into heaven because of Luce. But she doesn't know that their curse is broken. After killing Luce's friend she goes to Lucy to kill her. She thinks that her cycle will be ended with Lucy's death. Daniel will also come with her. Before she can kill Luce, Daniel arrives and saves her. After seeing him, Teacher Angel disappeared. The curse was broken and Lucy and Daniel met as well. Luce confesses that he always loved him and will also. Later, Daniel in his beautiful wings was taking Luce towards heaven. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching.